So now, uh, as of late, there's been a lot of reality shows, and they all seem to be focusing on New Jersey, you know, New Jersey Shore, yeah. New Jersey Delicious. Do uh, you think Jersey Delicious is really an accurate depiction of the state of New Jersey? Well, I, I mean, I don't know if anything's really an accurate description of anything. I mean, you know, yeah, Jersey Delicious is a part of New Jersey. There's definitely people in this state that are like the characters on this show. I mean, or else it would be. But, I mean, if you go to Dallas, Texas, not every guy walking around Dallas, Texas has got, a, you know, a cowboy hat on, you know, a big belt buckle, and, you know, a six-shooter on his side. You know, but they're there. Not every girl walking down Rodeo Drive in California, you know, has got bleach blonde hair, a face full of collagen, and implants. But it's there. I mean, there's some truth to every stereotype, or else it wouldn't be a stereotype. You know, not every Italian's got mob ties, not every Irish guy's a drunk. But, you know what I mean? You know, but that's what, this, that's what we play into. And there is a little bit of truth in everything. Is it an accurate depiction? I don't know if it's an accurate depiction, but yeah, I mean, you know, we're, play, we're being ourselves. We're not actors. We're being ourselves. If this is the way we come across, then, then what you see is what you're getting. So, uh, what celebrity would you love to make over? Right now, I'd probably, if I had to say one celebrity, you know, I'd love to get my, my hands on Lindsay Lohan. I think she needs all the help she can get. Have you seen her lately? Oh my God. She's been in the ground a lot. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I started her hair and then somebody else could take over. I mean, I know it's not going to solve all her problems, but if I can get my hands on her hair, I think I can help her a little bit. Uh, so i got to ask you, uh, what are the pros and cons of being a straight man in a field where it's perceived as predominantly men are you really gay. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any cons to it. I mean, you're a straight guy in this business, it's like, you know, and you're single. Like I said, it was one of the greatest times of my life. You know, now I'm in a different spot. You know, now I'm just worried about the business aspect of it. But for a straight guy in this business, for anybody in this business, it's a great business. I mean, the creativity, the, 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 the fun that we have in this business. You know, it's not like we're punching the clock every day. You know, you know, it's an artistic field. We're free to express ourselves. You know, it's a lot more laid back. It's a lot more chilled out. You know, there are some salons that you know are more stringent, but it's not us. You know, I mean, I think anybody who has a creative side and really doesn't really want to conform to a nine to five work schedule, it's great business for them. To be a guy in this business and single in the beginning, forget about it. 